Hi, my name is Anna Kastner. I'm working in software integrations at TimeTech. TimeTech is a leading time and time and attendance software as a service provider, which empowers everyone to focus on their most valuable resource, time. In this dev talk, I will talk about why we needed integrations, what is time to connect, why we built it and how are we using it. And last but not least, I would like to point out some common challenges when doing integrations. So let's start. Why we needed integrations? Um, let's think of a company. Nowadays, companies are not trying to make all of the products they need by themselves, but they are outsourcing to different companies, for example, software companies. First of all, a company might start looking for an accounting software. Then when a company grows bigger and the number of employees increases, they will start looking for a human resource software. At some point, they will need a software tool for their project management. Um, then another software arises and at some point they would like to keep track of the employees' working hours. And that was time is what TimeTech is offering. Um, at this point, you have a number of different software solutions. They all work great, but there is one problem. They do not share data among themselves. As a result, the HR department of a company has to maintain all data all over the place. They have to ensure that the data is correct and delivered in time. This might work for smaller companies, but as you can imagine, it's very hard to accomplish for bigger companies. It is not only an unbearable burden on HR, but also prone to errors and data inconsistency. So in order to overcome this problem, it is necessary to establish an exchange of data among various systems in order to enable them to work functionally together. In other words, to integrate various systems. So um, the understanding of the complexity of activities is very important when talking about integration. Integrating various systems requires communication with stakeholders, architectural activities, development of concepts, implementation, testing, and long-term support. To implement these integrations, we developed an in-house integration framework called TimeTech Connect. Um, this framework enables data synchronization between various systems while reusing already existing components. Especially for bigger companies, it would be quite an overhead to manually maintain and tra transfer all data among various systems. So this creates the need to automatically transfer data from time tech to different systems or the other way around. Systems like ERP systems, as it is SAP, CRM systems, project management tools, or payroll accounting systems, like the common ones are DATEV, BMD. Um, yeah, at this point, I would like to point out some common integrations we are doing in TimeTech. The most important one is user provisioning. It's essentially an interface given the possibility to synchronize data from um, a company's um, human resource tool to TimeTech. It's automating um, the process of creation, um, maintenance, and maintenance and deactivation of user accounts in TimeTech is therefore automated. Another common integration is um, integrating a customer's ERP system, like this SAP, for example, with TimeTech. SAP, for example, is used for um, where a company is maintaining all their projects and tasks, and this data will then be synchronized with TimeTech. This allows their employees to track time on certain projects. Then, in a, um, on a weekly or monthly basis, or even on a daily basis, this data generated in TimeTech will then be pushed to SAP or any other um, system for further processing, analysis, or payroll accounting. Previously, we were doing all these with separated procedures and functions within our main project. But at some point, we understood that it would be possible to actually combine all these integrations in one place. And we were starting to look for an integration framework um, to handle all these integrations and data migrations all together. We spent some time on research and as a result, um, yeah, we spent some time on research and the result was that um, all the commercial frameworks were quite expensive and didn't provide us with the, um, with the degree of flexibility we were searching for. So we decided to build our own integration framework because we already had a lot of knowledge and um, the required resources. Whenever you are doing integrations, there are some um, industry standards you, are, you can follow with. The most common ones are ETL and Enterprise Service Bus. 
When we were developing Time Tech Connect, we decided to follow the ETL concept. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. So in a little bit more detail, extractors are used to fetch data from a data source. Then transformers are the most effectively used parts when doing integrations because they are in charge of changing the structure of the data. When migrating data from one data source to another one, um, it's expected that the data will somehow be changed or the structure or not even the format will be in the same way as it was before. So therefore, transformers are those components um, that have the single responsibility to change, to change the structure of the data. Um, but in order to extract, trans or, and the last one, sorry, are, are loaders. These are those components that are used to push data to, to data location where it's actually needed. But in order to extract, transform, and load data, you have to connect somewhere first. So following the understanding of connectors, it's the first step of integrating one system with another. Um, Time to Connect is cap capable of connecting to multiple systems, like connecting to, for example, Azure, um, Microsoft Azure via using an API, connecting to a local Active Directory, or reading data from a file system while connecting to an SFTP server, or accessing data from an external database. Connecting to different data locations is done by using different connectors. Whenever we at TimeTech are talking about integrations, we're talking about recipes. You can think of um, it as a as kind of a puzzle. It's combining um, those three or four components, the extractors, loaders, transformers, and connectors. So coming back to the initial use case, where we were fetching project and task data from SAP, um, um, synchronizing it with TimeTech, and then extracting the um, or exporting the generated time tracking data to SAP. So in that case, we're talking about two recipes. The first one is about um, fetching data from SAP. In most cases, it is not possible to access SAP directly, but um, we will fetch data from an SFTP location. Um, this data will then be synchronized with time tech. Um, then the time tracking data um, generated in time tech will be exported on a daily, weekly or monthly basis back to SAP while using an um, SFTP loader. As you can see, the kind of mechanism with that kind of mechanism, coding itself can be done quite easily. It's, necess it's not necessary to invent everything from scratch every time, but it's about reusing already existing components. Defining the requirements and, and testing is always the parts that are challenging and time-consuming. So at some point, we had to decide if we want to keep um, TimeTech Connect as a separated project or if we want to have it within our main project, TimeTech. We decided to keep it as a separated one. This allows us to have an agile workflow, increases flexibility um, while having uh, independent, independent re release cycles and reduces complexity. And last but not least, I would like to point out some common challenges when doing integrations. Integrations involves a bunch of stakeholders. The interests of different stakeholder groups can diverge. That, this makes the process of gathering information and for new integrations a very important and sensitive process. Working closely together with customers and our internal teams is part of our daily work. Combining and aligning their interests is as well. Working in integrations is a very diversified job. It's about continuous improvements, learning about new technologies and getting to new various systems. So thank you very much. <laughs>